During our previous episode, we started transforming this space into an industrial style. So we have shown you how to whitewash on a base brick wall and how to apply a stencil. Today we are going to continue on the walls. We are going to show you how to create a washed effect with a mottled look. On the wall, we've painted with sheriff stone, which is a nice charcoal color. The wall next to me, we've painted with cement gray and I've already applied the washed effect on there with darker shades of gray. I'm going to show you how to transform the rest of this space into a beautiful industrial style and we'll continue today on the walls. Bear in mind that chalk or paint is also a chalkboard paint and we'll show you at the end what can be done to a wall. First step is to take a piece of mutton cloth, more or less the size of a kitchen towel and nicely dampen it in some water. Most important tip is to squeeze out any excess water. So once I've dampened the cloth, I fold all the edges away so it lies like a ball in the palm of my hand, nice and comfortably. Next, I apply some paint in the Color Dons wash onto my cloth and I do it nice and evenly. I will even now distribute the paint evenly into my cloth. And now I'll start the washing process on the painted surface. Important to remember is your paint needs to be completely dry before you start washing. I'm going to apply very light pressure on my wall. I can rather later continue with a second coat and a darker shade. And I'm going to move in circular movements. Once I start seeing that I really can't see paint anymore, I know now it's time to apply more paint to my cloth. If I see any perfections, maybe like dark lines, unevenness, I can simply just continue to work over those areas to get a nice even washed effect. I'm going now to add more paint to my cloth. Like always, I'm going to play and have fun. I'm going to use various colors to complete my wash defect. I'm going to continue with Dawn's wash. Then I'm going to add some cloud white. And in the corners, just to add some excitement, I'll use the color Shorty Story, which is one of our new colors, and it's also a mustard color. We also use this color to paint the ceiling to create a nice, fresh look in our industrial room. There are various ways of doing this technique. If you don't want to move in circular movements, you can also move up and down with your cloth. I'm now going to ask Simon to come and assist me to complete the top of the wall. I'm now going to continue with cloud white and add some lightness to the wall behind me. And I work it in my cloth. Little by little I'll apply some cloud white. I'm going to start in the corner. I am now done with the cloud white. Next, I'll start by adding some shorty story.
Once we've waited between one to two hours for the wall to dry, we'll complete our industrial room with some chalkboard drawings onto our washed wall. Our industrial room makeover is just about complete. Tune in next time to see the finishing touches, exciting additions and of course the big reveal. If you'd like some help in achieving this look in your own homes, contact Chopo Paint and their qualified team can come and give you a hand. Visit thehomechannel.co.za for a full list of Choco Paint workshops and more. For stockist opportunities, email nadine at chocopaint.co.za. Happy painting!